Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, your favorite anime reviewer here, back at you with another anime. Uh, so, recently, um, uh, I watched the anime, Akame Ga Kill. Um, I seen, uh, in the idea of making this video is, um, a lot of people saying it's really bad anime. And, uh, well, apparently it's because the manga has a slight... Um, difference or whatever to the anime uh, I don't know I didn't read it uh, don't expect me to because I'm not going to um, you know feel free to leave your opinions on the difference if you know the difference between them below but um, yeah uh, overall I'd say it's it's decent it's good um, nowhere near my other favorites uh, but I'd say it's pretty solid overall um, let me tell you why alright so um Starting off with the basics, uh, it's very dark, uh, you know, um, of all the anime I've seen, um, it's definitely got the most, um, hopeless, I guess I'd describe the tone as, uh, the world they live in, um, I'd say the fights are all pretty cool, most of the characters are pretty cool, uh, I'll get into that a little later, um, but my overall impression, uh, in terms of what I liked about it, that's different from all the other ones I've seen. Because I like to, you know, actually do an analysis here. I don't want to just uh, say some random bullshit and give you a bad recommendation. I want to be honest and um, give you my opinion. Um, I guess I'd really just say I like the way that people are just able to die. But at the same time, I don't like it. It's I think it's the show's crutch, and also its best accomplishment at the same time, because it almost becomes, uh, like less of a unique spin, to the point where it's um like an expected plot point, if that makes sense. Um, so like for example, uh, I don't know how many of you guys have watched The Walking Dead, but. A really famous scene is when the Glenn dude, who's been a character ever since like the first however many seasons, uh, he gets his head smashed in by the then like new villain of the show, and it was really crazy and impactful. And I remember everyone f like was freaking out about it or whatever. Um, you want to create that same type of effect when a character dies, right? You want it to be impactful. And you want the audience to be like, oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Like, what? That's crazy. Or the counter is, um, if it's a villain, you know, you want his death to, like, be really hard. But then once it finally happens, you want the audience to relish in it to an extent because he's the bad guy. And it's like, oh yes, justice came through. Like, we finally won, right? But when you get to the point, you're just doing it constantly repetitive. It takes away from that special moment that the audience is supposed to have and it gets to the point where it's almost like annoying to an extent which I think is why most people say they don't like the anime from what I've gathered um I watched a video or two there and it seems like the main criticism is how the characters are killed off and though I think it's a fair cri criticism I think it's also important to note that it's not a terrible idea or technique to use it's just the like constant nature of it in the show to where it takes away from the actual emotional value you're supposed to feel in these scenes that are such like tense like high stakes uh moments in essence if that makes sense uh so now i'll get into the specific elements of the show um Basically, I'm going to tell you guys, if you think you should watch this or not, uh, will be determined on how you like the first episode. I think that's a really good uh, example of how the whole show will go. Um, I really don't know how else to describe it. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Lots of murder, death, gore. Uh, um, it's pretty brutal, uh, you know. Um... And, you know, I kind of think, like I said earlier, that's the tone the show is going for, so it makes sense. But, um, uh, I guess I'll just, like, say moments that really stuck out to me from the show. So, here's a spoiler warning now, if you're hearing this, uh, don't watch the rest of the video if you really want to go see this. I don't know, come back and watch it once you're done. Uh, I do, another thing, 
I was about to say, um, I do appreciate the length of the, you know, the show. Um, it's really for really short, uh, 24 episodes. Uh, though I feel like they should have extended it. I think instead of 24, it probably should have been closer to like, uh, like 38, 48 range. That way it gives you time to process all the shit happening. Cause it's 24 episodes of just constant shit happening. You know, there's no episode of like where something crazy or people aren't dying basically. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll say the moment that really like fucked me up when I first watched it was um when Shield died when she got a uh, chew in half by that um fucking robot bitch uh Surio or whatever the fuck her name is fuck that bitch all right we don't fuck with her she's fucking annoying I think I don't she's my least favorite character in the whole show I think by far um so maybe that makes her a good character I don't know but yeah fuck her um. You know, that was, that was pretty impactful, because it was, like, kind of the first crazy death of the show, then, you know, the bullet dies, and all the other stuff, um, uh, I think Tatsumi's progression over the course of the show is really interesting, and then, obviously, at the end, when it turns out, uh, that, um, he's not the main character, because, uh, he dies before the show finishes, um, but yeah, and then just all the fucking girl characters in the show want his fucking penis, you know. Must be great. Hey, I wish that happened to me. No, it doesn't. But, you know, hey, whatever. It's fucking real life, not anime. So, it'll just keep happening. Fuck me, I guess. Um, then, you know, you got General as death or is, yeah, I think that's probably close to how you said as death with her, uh, their fucking giant fucking melons or whatever and she can fucking freeze anything and she's the most fucking overpowered person in the whole show she somehow falls in love with fucking Tazumi and he wants to be like oh no I'm not interested in that oh I'm a fucking do-gooder even though I've known all these people for two weeks uh, like fucking hey man call me Shaq cause I'm going with the general you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah bro going with the general to fucking pound town but I digress. Okay, so one part that really did fucking piss me off in the show was uh, Chelsea's death. Okay, right? Like, alright, I get it. She got gunned down and fucked up, whatever, right? Okay, cool. Get it. She died. Alright, got clapped. Alright, whatever. It is what it is. What I didn't like was how fucking over-dramatized they fucking ended it by making it to where the fucking uh, uh, Kurum Kurumo's uh, fucking bodyguard dude cut her fucking head off and then put it on a fucking pike in the middle of Times Square and then fucking talks to me falling in. He's like, oh, it's fucking blood streak all the way. And she's fucking piked. She's piked. Like, that was kind of overboard. Like, and then another thing they do, right? Okay, if you're going to make someone die, right? The next episode, you can't just be like, all right, so everything's back to normal. Let's let's keep it rolling. Like you know, um, though filler at sometimes can seem boring or dumb. It's important because it sets the tone of scenes like that. You know, it shouldn't be like this chick died. All right, we're going on to the next episode. You know, like so. Um, one of the major differences, I guess, uh, was the ending. Um, in the anime compared to the manga. Um. I don't know. I didn't think the ending was that bad. I mean, it was alright. It's kind of what I expected. Um, I guess in terms of the minister killing Leone and him having some secret uh, affinity weapon, or the fuck they're called, that was kind of dumb. But uh, other than that, I didn't really think it was that bad. Uh, you know, I thought the fight between Akame and uh, Ez death was pretty good. And um, I don't know. I mean, like, yeah, like it kind of sucks. That there's no characters really left at the end because they all fucking died. But I mean... I don't know, what are you going to do? Um, but uh, overall, I, I don't know, I'd, I'd say it's pretty good, you know. I'd recommend it to someone else. Um, contrary to what other people on the internet are going to say, uh, I, I don't think it's completely fucking terrible. I think it's decent, so um, if you guys are interested in uh, getting a new anime to check out, then yeah, maybe you should watch it. Um, you got some free time, like I said, it's really short, so uh, that's really basically it. Uh, if you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, peace.